What's going on guys? Dr. Ryan Gray back for another video that I think will be very important, at least this application cycle that this video is coming out. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button to be notified of more great videos every week. So what I want to talk to you today about is the essays that are going to pop up on the application cycle, probably most likely, I know given this application cycle for starting medical school in 2021 and maybe part of the application for a couple years to come as students who are impacted by COVID-19 continue to apply to medical school. And that's the question really that's going to pop up that we know it's going to pop up on the primary application for a COMIS, right? The DO medical school application and how many medical schools have either said or have rumored to be including in the secondary essays, which is a question centered around how has COVID-19 impacted you? Medical schools want to know how you have been impacted by this. And I think it's something that we should talk about how to write about, because there are probably going to be good ways to write about it and bad ways to write about it, just like there are good ways to write a personal statement, bad ways to write a personal statement, good ways to write a disadvantaged essay, bad ways to write a disadvantaged essay. So let's start off with just the general question. How has COVID-19 affected you? Now, a lot of you have been kicked out of your dorms. Uh, obviously, classes moving online, labs are online, jobs have been uh, canceled or closed, and so you've been fired or furloughed or whatever. A lot of that information is going to be useful for medical schools. Don't look at it just from a... Uh, an extracurricular slash medicine standpoint to say, oh, COVID-19 affected me because I wasn't able to get in my research. I wasn't able to fit in my shadowing hours. I wasn't able to whatever, right? A lot of students are going to focus on the clinical side of things, the activity side of things that were canceled because of COVID-19. At the end of the day, the application is all about your story not just the check boxes that you think you have to get through to apply to medical school. And so when it comes to your application and when it comes to a question about how COVID-19 has affected you, don't just focus on those check boxes, focus on your story. Did you have to come home to an abusive environment? Did you have to come home to not a home? Right? Were you kicked out of your dorm and had to live in your car? Tell that story. It may be difficult to tell that story. And a lot of you will be hesitant to tell that story because you think, oh, the school, I don't want the school to take pity on me. I don't want them to think negatively about me. I don't want them to be concerned that because I'm homeless now that it's going to be an issue in the future when I'm in medical school. Don't worry about how the medical schools are potentially going to look at some of these things that you're going to talk about. Because when you talk about the impact of leaving school, of going to classes online, of being in uh, an environment that is not conducive to being a student, and now all of a sudden your, your home life is struggling, your school life is struggling, right? Talk about that. Tell a story about those things. You need to focus on you and your story during this time. I saw a headline uh, on one of the major news channels websites that talked about what it's like to be in Hong Kong living in a hundred square foot house. They, they call them like home cages or something. I, I forget the term that they used, but really, really small houses in Hong Kong and what it's like to live in quarantine in one of those. Now, I don't think we have houses that small, even in New York City here, um, but some of you may be going home, right? You, you've, you've been kicked off of, of campus, kicked out of the dorms, and you're going home to a, a two-bedroom apartment or a one-bedroom apartment where there's five or six or seven people living in that apartment. What is that like, right? Some of you are going home to alcoholic parents. What is that like? Some of you are going home to abusive households. What is that like? What is it like to go from being on campus, being in a dorm, working a job to maintain your food and, and other, uh, other needs from a, a monetary standpoint? What is it like to be kicked out of all of that, 
not have a job, not have any money coming in. Tell that story. Showing what you've been able to accomplish through this adversity, not just to, to say, hey, look at me, look how awesome I am, but just showing others the adversity that you've been through will help a lot of you through this process, will help a lot of you get into a school that maybe wouldn't have looked at you before because on paper, it didn't look like you really went through a lot of adversity because you didn't want to open up about that adversity before, but now you want to take advantage of, it's really not the right term, but you really want to use this opportunity now to really tell your story in a different light. Now, the, the Texas application has always kind of had this optional essay as part of their application, where a lot of students use this time to use that application, use that essay to, to tell a story similar to this. Now, all of you will likely have an opportunity through a COVID-19 question to talk about adversity that you've been through. I don't think you need to mention anything specifically about, oh, my research hours were cut or, oh, my shadowing hours were cut. If you want to briefly mention that stuff, great. The medical schools are already going to know that. They're already going to know that the majority of extracurriculars have been cut because of this, right? Unless you're working as an EMT or working as a scribe or working as a CNA or working wherever and you don't stop work, a lot of you have been kicked out of your volunteer positions, kicked out of the hospital, kicked out of clinical experiences and clinical settings because of COVID-19. The medical schools know that and understand that already. Now, unfortunately, on the application itself, there really isn't an opportunity to talk about, well, I was going to do this. I was going to do that. And maybe this COVID-19 question is a small place for that. And that is okay as well. Really at the end of the day, remember that the application in general, COVID-19 or not, is the opportunity to tell your story, not to just show all the check boxes that you've marked off. And so as you are thinking about this COVID-19 question, don't think about it from a, these aren't the check boxes that I haven't been able to check off because of COVID-19. And that's where a lot of you will go. And that will not do a good job of telling your story. So be careful with that aspect of it. Please be careful with that part of it. So moving forward with your application, again, not check boxes, stories. Talk about you and your stories and how you have been impacted in that way, in, a, in your life, not just those check boxes. I hope this was helpful for you to get you through this small part of the process. Remember, the, the ACOMAS application will have the COVID-19 question built into the primary. A lot of medical schools are going to ask for it in the secondary essays. Go to secondaryapps.com for more information about secondary essays. We'll have uh, some information there as well. Hope you have a great day. I hope you are staying safe. And please know that we're thinking about you.